Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air, and today we're going to be looking at one of the best carrier systems that you can get. Um, I'm going to go through that system, to show you everything that we did. I'm going to start up here in the attic with the furnace and the electronic, uh, the air purifier. Then um, I'm going to talk to you about all the duct work and stuff that we did. But as always, please like this video, subscribe to my page. Uh, please leave a comment in the section below if you have any questions and let's get right into it. So this is a carrier infinity variable speed system. We have the 98% modulating gas furnace up here in the attic. We have a infinity air purifier right here. We did all new ductwork, which is all this silver ductwork here. And then the big thing on this system is we did zoning. So you can see there's some zone controls on the ductwork coming off. Those zone controls go into this box right here, which is the zone board, and then feeds back into the furnace control board to the uh, outside condenser, as well as the infinity control thermostat. So this is a 2,800 square foot house. We added three zones to this house and we reducted everything. So now with the variable speed furnace, with the variable speed condenser outside that has 75 speeds, this house can control different comfort zones throughout the day. So we have a downstairs zone, a master bedroom zone, and then an upstairs bedroom zone. So that means that basically anyone in those zones can, can program their thermostat or turn it on or off to what they want throughout the day. And it will be that temperature without cooling or heating the other zones. So it makes for a very overall comfortable home. Um, to do this, we did have to do all new ductwork. So you can see we enlarged this return duct, which was a lot smaller before. We actually added a return duct in the master bedroom, which is right behind me, this high ceiling. So we cut a return duct right there. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in this attic because it's very tiny, but um, you know, obviously we have the evaporator coil here. We have the drain lines that we ran out. Um, we have a two inch PVC flue vent for the furnace that we had to do. Um, there is ductwork running all over this attic off the back side there. And we had to basically make sure that each zone had enough air for it. So the minimum amount of air for one zone is about one ton of air, which is 500 CFM. So we have to make sure that that's the smallest zone. And then we have zones that are bigger, like the downstairs has more like around a thousand CFMs that goes to it. So we make sure when we do a zoning system like this, that we calc everything out. We make sure that everything is going to work properly. They're going to get the amount of airflow that they need for cooling and heating to that zone. Um, if you'd like more information about a system like this or any other carrier system, let me know. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to my page for more videos like this. Uh, check out the other videos I've done on this system. I did do a short video of the condenser outside. Um, and, and thank you for watching.